the NSL crisis is concerned that we have for you today. Now, after the economic offences, wing of the Mumbai Pillars upped its heat against the brokers in the NSL scam. Bloomberg TV India has exclusively learned that even the Enforcement Directorate will be investigating the role of brokers. Prerna Barua is joining us with more on this. Prerna, tell us what have you picked up from your sources? Well, yes, after the economic offences wing of the Mumbai police already sought details of the brokerage firms with regard to the NSEL scam, the Enforcement Directorate has also indicated that the role of brokers will be looked into. Remember, these brokers who had been making a big human cry since the date the NSEL scam broke are some of the biggest names in the brokerage fraternity. Some of these brokers were allegedly involved in borrowing and lending to their clients in violation of regulations and alleged allegedly provided margin money to the investors. The Enforcement Directorate, who had earlier attached properties and assets worth over 100 crore uh, rupees uh, to one of the biggest borrowers of NSEL Mohan India, is also investigating the role of other borrowers of the spot exchange. ED had last week searched the premises of Astha Minmit and Jagarnath projects in Mumbai and Bangalore, and the investigative agency claims to have uh, unearthed incriminating documents and evidences of of diversion of funds into real estate. Also, while interrogating the company, has admitted that contracts were launched without any physical delivery and that the company had indeed diverted the funds. ED sources to Bloomberg TV India have indicated that the broker's role will be also probed in the coming days. Meanwhile, the economic offences wing of the Mumbai police has also sought details from the brokers and is currently delving deeper into their books of accounts. So clearly, the broker's role in this 5600 crore NSEL scam is not ruled out and charges will be soon leveled against them by the various investigative agencies.